getting a deep tech startup off the ground is very complex. It's manufacturing, supply chains. How do you go to market? How do you go to market globally? Mm. Uh, and that takes time and effort. So there's a lot more capital, I think, now coming in to take research from a lab bench through productization out to customers. So all the way from lab to market. So bench to market is where things are happening right now. We are thrilled by that because obviously that's really where we start to come in. Once you start to productize, that's where Elevate likes to come in. So, so we think that's a very big deal. Two, you're now starting to see some you know, second time founders, not just from Singapore, but globally come in. Uh, because Singapore, unlike a few other unlike a few other countries, has is far more welcoming of startup founders from anywhere. Uh, so we do have more of an open door policy. Yes, people might quibble about the nuts and bolts, but really, you know, I think Singapore is people far just more like welcoming. to quibble. Like. People do like to quibble, <laughs> mm-hmm. and um, and so we're seeing far better talent coming now into Singapore more than we've seen before. From where? Uh, from all over the world. So you know, you can, you see folks come in both from the university system mm. um, to do their PhDs, etc. But uh, and if you walk around the streets right now, even in the CBD, which is where our offices are, you know, I can count off the top of my fingers at least eight founders that I know who had large exits from different parts of the world, US and India, that come straight to the top of my mind. 